Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Meriwether Lewis, famous for his journey across the North American continent to the Pacific Ocean with his buddy William Clark, not quite so famous for being a territorial governor and having a very mysterious death. We are going to focus on the latter part today, but it's worth doing a quick recap of Lewis's life. First of all, Lewis came from rural Georgia and didn't really come from that much, but was, as a young man, able to go to Virginia where he studied under the care of his uncle with certain private tutors, beginning his education at 13 years old. Now, he does a pretty good job here and gets into the right crowds. Uh, additionally, though he joins after the Revolutionary War concluded, he joins the Virginia Militia. And as a member of the Virginia Militia, he helps to suppress the Whiskey Rebels. It's during this time he becomes friendly with William Clark. Uh, he also goes on to join the United States Army. Though the Army wasn't doing much in the early years of the Washington administration, Lewis makes an impression on people. And by the time Thomas Jefferson becomes president of the United States, Jefferson actually recruits Meriwether Lewis, still in his 20s, to become his personal secretary. And Lewis spends two years living in the executive mansion, later known as the White House, uh, working directly with Thomas Jefferson every single day. And it's because of this that Lewis is able to gain the trust of Jefferson. After Louisiana Purchase is made, well, famously, Thomas Jefferson needs someone to go explore it. And he taps his personal secretary, Meriwether Lewis, who he trusts both as uh, so an educated person now who can read and write properly, uh, someone he knows very closely, and someone with military experience to go out on this adventure, uh, make friends with the Native Americans out there as best he can, trace the waters of the Missouri Missouri River up to its headwaters and make any scientific discoveries he possibly can. Now, the first thing Lewis does is he finds his old commander, William Clark, to come on board. And although technically Lewis was outranking Clark, uh, he does end up treating Clark as an equal. They put together their merry band and off they go. Yada, yada, yada. That's the famous part of the story. They make it to the Pacific Ocean and they come back. Now, not quite so famous is when they get back, Thomas Jefferson really is happy with what happened with the Corpse of Discovery. And Meriwether Lewis is pointed as governor of Upper Louisiana. Now, at this point, the Louisiana Territory was split into two sections. There was Lower Louisiana, which was essentially Louisiana and Upper Louisiana, which was everything else. So Lewis sets up a, a headquarters in what we now know as St. Louis, and he starts governing. He does all sorts of things, licensing, sets up roadways, tries to build the community into a future state. He's actually a very capable administrator, though in his early 30s, and he runs into a bit of an issue with a gentleman named Frederick Bates. Now, Frederick Bates was Lewis's personal secretary. And Bates seems to have been pretty jealous of Lewis's position as governor of this gigantic territory, still technically during the American founding, during the Thomas Jefferson administration. Now, Lewis, on several occasions, sent out envoys to meet with Native American nations and try and secure friendships so that there were no wars breaking out on the frontier there. He did this pretty much, at, pretty much at his own expense, though he did have to take out some loans to do so. He did this assuming, as a member of the federal government working on behalf of the federal government, he would be reimbursed by the federal government. And it, Lewis does write back to Jefferson saying, hey, please refund me. I don't want to take up too much debt personally for these federal jobs I'm doing. Now, unfortunately for Lewis, Frederick Bates, his subordinate, had been writing to Thomas Jefferson, telling him about all this terrible things Lewis is doing and saying that any money Lewis is trying to get from the federal government, he is using for personal gain. Now, we know this not to be true in hindsight. As I said, he was a very capable administrator and was doing a lot of really important work. That being said, for some reason, Thomas Jefferson stops trusting his old ally, in Lewis. Uh, granted, this is also about the time the whole Aaron Burr fiasco in the Southwest is going on, but putting that aside, Jefferson becomes a little bit suspicious of everyone at this point, and he uh, writes to Lewis telling him so. Lewis, at this point, decides, okay, I have to go back to Washington now. I have to go cl clear my name and get this money because his creditors are starting to call in their debts and he doesn't have the money. The bureaucracy is essentially ruining him. So he has to go back and figure out how to do this. So Lewis gets on a boat and he wants to sail down the Mississippi, go out 
the Gulf of Mexico, sail up the Atlantic to Washington, D.C. For some reason, he only travels a brief way down the Mississippi River before he decides, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to go by land across the states to Washington. Just a few days later, he is staying at an inn and he is seen acting a little bit suspiciously. He retires to his room, his cabin that he's rented, uh, and he's seen talking to himself. Then he gets back to his cabin. Now, people who were there have different accounts of exactly what went down. But everyone agrees that two gunshots rang out and Meriwether Lewis was found dead at just 35 years old. He had accomplished all this at just 35 years old. Now, pretty quickly it was ruled a suicide. Jefferson believed so. His old friend William Clark figured it was a suicide. He was having these financial troubles. Many people at the time thought he was scamming the federal government and he committed suicide to get out of it. However, historians have questioned this because there were two gunshots, one in the stomach and one in the head. Additionally, a whole bunch of money that he was supposed to be holding at the time for his travels was gone. Somehow, he had zero currency on him while he was traveling across, first around, and then across the United States. This makes the entire circumstance extremely suspicious. And there are those out there, historians have begun to question exactly what happened. Was he simply robbed? Was he... Was Frederick Bates not happy with him still, uh, or was it just simply a suicide? Unfortunately, we may never know. It is, however, very fascinating considering Meriwether Lewis is one of the most famous American founders. Many people might not consider him an American founder. He's not known for the Revolutionary War or very much for politics, really just the one expedition. But still, during the American founding and an extremely important expedition for an extremely important, in my opinion, American founder. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think? What, what do you think happened down there? Did it was it was it a suicide or is it too suspicious for that? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like so that more people can learn about the American Revolution with us. And if you're new here, subscribe. I put out videos about the American Revolution seven days a week. I will be back with another founder for you tomorrow.